Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are taking it old school and we are going to dive in into a favorites video. I'm going to be laying out some favorites of the past several months. Honestly, I should be doing a favorites of the year video, but because I don't want to do that yet, um, we're not going to because I still am kind of in denial that the year is almost over. It's November, when am I filming this? It is November 16th when I'm filming this. We have one more month of the year, of the decade. I don't know how I feel about it yet, so let's step away from that. I am going to be diving into some favorites, skincare, makeup, things, personal items. We're gonna be talking about this cup today because I really love it. I'm just gonna be diving into some favorite products for you guys, let, giving you guys like a rundown of some of my favorite products. I feel a little try-hardy with this necklace today. It's not mine, it's my boyfriend's. Um, but I thought like maybe. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comment section down below. How do you feel about the necklace? I'm going to be telling you guys some of my favorite products of the past few months. I have been on like such, literally, this whole year has been such a, let me just use makeup that I love type of year. Like I really haven't done that many first impressions this year. You guys know, cause you are letting me know on Twitter that I haven't. I'm sorry, I'll get back to it soon. But it's just been a year of me playing with makeup that I really love, and I'm gonna share some of you, share some of those products with you guys. I'm gonna break it down in sections. So I'm gonna first start with skincare. I'm gonna get that out of the way, because ah, you know, oh, if you follow me on Twitter, you know, skincare and me, me and skincare lately has just been the thing for me. Um, and then we're gonna go into makeup and then maybe some personal items towards the end of the video because I know a lot of you guys are here for the makeup. You don't care about like my favorite Starbucks cup of the month. Why would you? It's really dumb for me to even put that in the video, but I'm going to, and you're gonna have to deal with it because it's my channel, not yours. I just shook the camera, like I'm gonna shake the table. Also, we're gonna be talking about some products that I have not been liking over the past few months. A lot of it I've actually given away, donated, given away, passed on to friends, um, and just parted with when I moved. So it's either going to be not in my hand or it's going to be, you know, in my hand. Why am I explaining things so dumb? On my face today is all my favorite products. I'll let you guys know what products is on my face throughout the video. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this favorites video. I'm super excited. I haven't filmed one of these in like two fucking years. Like, damn sis, like, let's get into it, mama. All right, so the first thing I want to share with you guys is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Mama, this stuff is sickening the Hassan boots. I'm completely out. Girl, we're done. You hear that? She's hollow. She's done. She's over with. It's canceled. She's been done. She's over. This stuff, by the way, most of the skincare that I'm sharing with you guys is 100% affordable. Under 20 bucks. Uh, under 20 bucks is affordable now. Can we talk about inflation? We love it. Anyways, this stuff is bomb the house down boots mama for your nerves. Like this stuff is so good. It's not comedogenic, no fragrance, no alcohol, nothing nasty wasty in this. And <laughs> fragrance free, all that stuff. And they have this technology that's patent. It's their thing where it like slow releases like hyaluronic acid throughout the day. It's c controlled release of hyaluronic acid throughout the day to keep your face nice and moisturized and like plump feeling throughout the day. I will say one thing though, it's not like your typical cleanser where it feels like you're washing your face. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and I know this is really personal for a lot of people because a lot of people love when their cleansers like feel like it's cleaning their face. This doesn't feel like it's cleaning your face. Honestly, it feels like it's making your face dirty. I know that sounds so bad, I'm not selling you on this at all. But it feels weird when you're putting it on because it just is a weird feeling cleanser because it's a hydrating cleanser. It's not drying out your skin. It's not stripping your skin of anything like normal most most cleansers do especially affordable cleansers It's just cleaning your face and also giving you good hydration, which is hyaluronic acid I'm gonna be talking about hyaluronic acid a lot in this video mama because hyaluronic acid I just have a stroke hyaluronic acid is like the like the bees knees if you have really dry skin or any skin kind well, maybe not really, but like any skin type can really benefit from hyaluronic acid because you just need that hydration. It's just hyaluronic acid. <laughs> hyaluronic acid is an acid that kind of pulls moisture from the air. So if you do live in a drier climate, you might not find benefits from hyaluronic acid, especially if your air is really dry and crisp. Like it, it might have a harder time finding moisture to grab from the air. So it might, I've had some people tell me that hyaluronic acid is bad for you if you, if you live in drier regions. 
is. I don't know about that. I haven't really done too much research on that because I'm just talking, I'm just speaking on personal experience. I love hyaluronic acid. I love what it does to my skin. I love how amazing it feels on my skin. So a cleanser with it is like more than what I would ever want in my life. This stuff has lasted me. This bottle lasted me. <sighs> it would have lasted me longer if my boyfriend wasn't using this as well because we both love this. It lasted me a month. So let's take in consideration that my boyfriend is using it every single day too. So I would have said this would have maybe lasted me two months and it's really good really affordable i believe this was only i don't know it was under 20 dollars the next cleanser i want to talk about is a new find it's from la roche pussy um i can't stop calling it roche pussy uh, i know it's like la roche Posse, but ever since a follower told me that this sounds like roche pussy i can't stop calling it la roche pussy i said pussy too much in the video <laughs> Um, this is the Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This is another thing that is soap-free, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, non-comedogenic. So I like this one. It's gonna be perfect if you have sensitive skin. This stuff doesn't feel as weird as this one. Like this one has like a gritty texture to it. This one feels amazing on the skin. It has the consistency of cum. I wish I was lying to you, but mama. But it feels so hydrating and nourishing on the skin. It almost feels like you're moisturizing your skin when you're cleansing it like and that's the type of feeling I like when I'm cleansing my skin I don't want to feel like I'm stripping my skin or being rough with it or doing too much to it I, I just don't like that this is a newer find I've only been using this for a couple weeks now so far I'm obsessed with it I love how it makes my skin feel and I love how it takes my makeup off opposed to this one if you have sensitive skin if you have dry to normal skin this will be perfect for you check out La Roche Pussy I'm gonna give you guys a little up close so you can see what it looks like Next up is another thing from La Roche Pussy. This is another find that's recent. And I tweeted about it. You guys know if you follow me on Twitter. If you have acne prone skin, mama, this is how you can tame it. Not cure it, but tame it. It's a medicated formula of clarifying solution. It has salicylic acid, 0.5% of it, um, and then 2% glycolic acid, which is great for um, unclogging the pores and stuff. Why does it take me so long to figure that out? And it's almost 100% oil free. There's like 0.0.1%. I just love it because it's a salicylic acid solution. I love salicylic acid if you have acne prone skin. It just doesn't hurt to put on your skin if you have acne prone skin. It's a really good acid. Um, salicylic and hyaluronic, my favorite acids of all time. This stuff is really good. I wouldn't recommend any other toner because it is fragrance free as well. It's great for sensitive skin, not comedogenic. Toner is a vital step in any skincare routine. So this is something I def definitely recommend that's on the cheaper side. Um, a lot of toners have fragrance in it, which I do not recommend any fragrance in any skincare. If your skin is like made of I don't know, fucking plastic or something, like heavy metal or some shit. Fragrance is fine. My skin, however, if you cough near it weird, it breaks out in fucking rosacea. So yeah, this is important for me. So next up, I have two serums for you guys. One is the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. I A lot of people were telling me, and I think it's Suzanne Yara's fault, that mixing niacinamide, which is in this, with vitamin C is a no-no. So... I rarely use this when I'm using this. I'm, I, it's just something that I've read and something you guys have told me. So I'm, I don't know why. I think they just have like a weird reaction together on the skin. So when I want vitamin C on my skin, um, I just use this one or an, a different cleanser. But this is the Summer Friday CC Me Serum. This is the most expensive product I'm gonna be talking about. This stuff is so fucking good. Like with a bright, I recommend any, like vitamin C is so important for the skin, especially if you have rosacea, problematic skin where you just have uneven texture, uneven tones to the skin. I just I just absolutely love vitamin C and this one from um, Summer Fridays is amazing because it's just a good vitamin C serum. I love a good vitamin C. I like the one from Kylie. There's not too much badness in this and I believe there's no fragrance. Yeah, there's no fragrance in this. So it's just pure vitamin C. For, well, it's diluted vitamin C, but vitamin C that's pretty safe for the skin. But it's just an amazing vitamin C serum um, that I definitely recommend. It's on the more pricier side, but Summer Fridays is a good skincare brand. Next up, you guys have been, this is a newer bottle. This is the fourth one I've gone through. This is the Rainfall 2% Hyaluronic Acid Serum from 4th Ray Beauty. There's not a lot, there is a lot that I recommend from 4th Ray Beauty as far as serum serums go, um, but their face milks, 
that stuff you got to be wary of because there is some pretty nasty fragrances in there fragrance to me is just not the tea honey like it's just not good for you at all this hyaluronic acid no fragrance in this no badness in this it's just two percent hyaluronic acid with it is quite honestly such a good serum a lot of 43 beauty has fragrance in this i noticed this one has some fragrance in it so I am like kind of like being a hypocrite right now when I say some of the stuff that I was saying before, but it's still a good serum. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't do anything crazy to my skin, which I don't know why. I just love hyaluronic acid. It makes your skin really hydrated and plump and ready for makeup. It's ready for the day. It's just ready. My face right now, I want to look like this for as long as I possibly can. Aging is a part of life and I'm totally okay with that, but... I want to have beautiful skin for as long as I possibly can. Next up, I actually real quick want to talk about this Tarte Cosmetics Micellar Magic Makeup Remover. This is kind of like a splurgy purchase. I mean, I did get this in PR, but I will be repurchasing this just because of the splurge. If you guys have something that's kind of like this that's cheaper, please let me know in the comment section down below. And I also just like how it looks. This is the Micellar Magic from Tarte Cosmetics. And the reason why I love this is because it has that pump. You know that pump at Sephora? or Ulta, where you just get a little cotton cotton pad and you just pump, 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 and it soaks it. I just love the convenience of it, to be honest. Um, I mainly use this for, like, last little bit of pickup if I'm, you know, if I'm wearing makeup like I'm wearing today, where Mama needs to double down and, and making sure that she got all of her makeup off. That's what I kind of use this for. I double cleanse always, always double cleanse. And then I take my cotton round, take off my eyeshadow, take off my mascara with this, kind of do a last little wipe down on my face. This lasted me three months, so it is a really long supply. But keep in mind, I wasn't using this solely to remove all of my makeup. So that's why it lasted me so long. So keep that in mind. Moving on into moisturizer, I have one moisturizer for you guys. It is the CeraVe um, Moisturizing Cream for Normal to Dry Skin. This also has hyaluronic acid in it and it's super rich in texture. It has the exact same claims as the cleanser. There's no fragrance. No, it's really good for your skin. It has that slow release throughout the day. This stuff is fucking bomb. It's super, super rich in texture. Like when they say this much, just this little bit is good for my entire face. Like when we were out of lotion, mama, I was using this as lotion on my skin. It's amazing to prime for your makeup. I just love this stuff so much. It's fucking massive. The tiniest amount can cover the entire face and that's why I love it. And the last thing for skincare is also a recent find. And I'm super late to the party because I already know that this is like a staple for a lot of people already. But this is a body lotion. It is the Hemp's Pure Herbal Extracts Original Herbal Body Moisturizer. This stuff is so good. It's so moisturizing for the skin. Like my skin, my face, my face skin, she's sensitive. Oh, but mama, my body skin, she's more sensitive. Like, I can't even touch certain things without breaking out in a rash. Like, everything that's ever touching my skin has to be gentle because I am so quick to break out in a rash and hives. I love St. Ives, but I don't like any of those, like, super fragrancy body lotions. I feel like they're a waste of time. I don't want fragrance in my skincare. I'm wanting my skin to be cared for. So I really love this stuff. It's a new find. Been looking for a lotion that's just, like, that works for my skin and... And I found it. Moving on into makeup, I have so many different products I want to share with you guys as far as makeup is concerned. Remember when I said this Tati Beauty palette was going to get dirty really fast because of the soft touch packaging? I meant it. But this palette has been like literally my go-to palette. It just has everything I want and more. I wore it in my last video, I wore it in my video before that. Anytime I've just been doing my makeup or playing around, anytime I've been doing my boyfriend's makeup, I really love playing with this palette. It is such a good staple. Like if you have like a friend, a cousin, a brother, a sister, a mother, anyone that's just, just now starting to get into makeup, get them this palette because it is such a good palette to kind of start off with and learn with because you have all different kinds of textures, all different kinds of tones. It's not a scary palette. You have pops of color, you have glitter. Like it's just a really good palette to learn with because not only does it blend itself, it's a really blendable palette. There's just so much thought that went into this palette and I really appreciate that because not a lot of palettes these days have a lot of thought and care and TLC TLC put into them. I mean, you guys saw my review. I'll link it down below. I'll link it on one of these cards if you haven't seen it already, but I'm not wearing it today though. I have a different palette that I'm wearing today. So moving on to that palette. It is the ColourPop Going Coconuts Palette Mama. This is me in a palette. I know everyone's like on this weird colorful rainbow. How many look, how many colors can I put in my eye? 
to seem different, interesting kind of trend right now. But I'm going back to the simple. I, I love the simple right now, and this palette is literally as simple as it can fucking get. <laughs> literally, like, I don't think there's anything more simple than this. This is just a really good palette. Uh, you guys know how I feel about coconut, anything? So it's kind of ironic that my favorite palette right now is something based off of coconuts. I fucking hate coconut oil. Coconut ingredients, like coconut can just fuck off. Literally, fuck off coconut. By the way, before, let me do my shameless self promo. I do have a coupon code with ColourPop. It's Thomas in all caps if you guys are interested in saving some money off your next purchase. It's only like 10%, but it does help me out a lot. If you do go purchase from ColourPop, they have a Frozen collection coming out soon. If you do purchase anything, I really would appreciate it if you use my code because it does help me out so much. You guys don't even understand. Definitely, if you pick this up, use code Thomas at checkout. Anyways, this is a really beautiful palette, but the one thing I will say about these little mini palettes that ColourPop are doing, I'm a little bummed out that they're going to plastic packaging. I don't like when anyone does plastic packaging. Um, a lot of people do. It's just it's just the cheapest and easiest thing. Since we're already on this ColourPop kick, I'm going to talk about two more things from the collection, the coconut collection. It's the bronzers. I am fucking obsessed with these bronzers. I'm wearing them today. They're really, really pretty. This is the shade Coconut Beach. And then this one's the shade Chuck the Palm. So there's a cool toned one, and then there's a warm toned one. So the warm tone is the Coconut Beach, and the cool tone is Talk to the Palm. These are amazing. Contour, Talk to the Palm, Bronze, Talk Coconut Beach. If you're on the paler side, please pick them up. We'll say this though, they're really pigmented, mama. I was a little shook into the core when I was first trying them out. I was like, damn, sis, does it really need to be this pigmented? They could have pressed it a little bit harder in the factory, but they're really pretty and definitely worth picking up. They're super inexpensive too. So like, you know, ColourPop is super cheap. So these three things from the Coconut Collection, definitely a must have in my opinion. So the last thing I'm talking about with ColourPop, I'm so sorry, I'm on this ColourPop kick, is the Pretty Fresh Creamy Concealer. And guess what's fucking in it? Hyaluronic Acid. That's why I love it so much. It's a great, this concealer is an amazing eyeshadow primer. Great to cut your, cut your eyebrows with full coverage, and it hydrates your fucking under eyes. I'm wearing it on my under eyes today, and anything with hyaluronic acid in it is just, like, it's gonna keep your under eyes nice, moisturized, creamy, it's gonna apply amazing. This concealer is amazing. I was wondering if I was ever gonna have anything kind of be better than the Too Faced Born This Way concealer that I have been obsessed with since it came out. It's that big jumbo bitch. And I think I finally have it. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer is absolutely stunning. I love this so much, it's super creamy. It comes in a lot of shades, like, like it's super, super creamy. Love this so much. Definitely pick this up the next time you're on ColourPop.com. And use code THOMAS in all caps. Since we're already on complexion, we're going to talk about Stay Naked from Urban Decay. You guys know I was sponsored by them a couple months ago, and I still love it, and I still use it consistently. It's on my face today. As you guys know, in true Thomas fashion, I've already lost the caps to both of these, so fuck me. It covers everything. It literally covers anything. So the next foundation is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. I didn't want to like this, to be honest, because I, I don't know. Anastasia has just become one of those brands that I just don't stand. And I, I guess, I guess I'm being like one of those people that are like, Anastasia Beverly Hills, nah. But I don't know, like Anastasia is just not in, an impressive brand to me as it is for everyone else. I don't know why. I guess I can kind of see through it a little bit. I like some of their products. and This is one of the products that I like. Anastasia, the Luminous foundation it is beautiful on any person I've seen wear this it is so stunning it is such it is such a leap from that fucking stick foundation that they had the audacity the nerve the utmost fucking nerve to release and say was good was that fucking stick foundation oh my god was that the worst foundation I've ever tried from that like from any high-end brand that's like in the top 10 of worst foundations I've tried from a big brand like <gasps> This shit is bomb as fuck. It looks so pretty, so fucking pretty on the skin. Like I can't even. This is my number one favorite foundation. This is number two. Like I mix these two. I like, I fucking love this foundation. It's such a good foundation. Like this might even be my number one now. This might be my number two. Like, I don't know. Super, not, not even like crazy luminous. Like not like a luminous that would scare someone away. It's like a, you just moisturized your skin. You've just been in like, you're like in like, I don't know. You're like at the beach and it's like, you know that really pretty sweaty glow that bitches be having? Like it gives that kind of glow. Not like a bitch drink of water, getting some AC type of sweat glow. It's like a, you know, you've been outside a little bit. 
You've been prancing around the beach, you know? The way I describe makeup is like the worst. Why would any of you buy anything that I'm recommending? <laughs> Talking about bronzers again, Fenty Biu Biu, this private island bronzer, mama, you can't even see the, the stamp in there. I love this bronzer, especially when I'm tan. This is such a pretty bronzer. This one, and um, I have another one that I like, but I can't find it. But this, the Fenty Beauty bronzer is probably is one of the best releases this year, like on the top 10 of best launches this year. Fenty Beauty, these bronzers, Rihanna girl, it's like a nice bronzer. It's like really good. We love her. We stand her and we appreciate her. So the next thing I want to talk about is actually been a favorite that I've rediscovered. It used to be a favorite back in 2016 and I just kind of stopped using her and now I'm back to using her. And I actually got this because it was a recommendation from Samantha Ravendahl here on YouTube. Uh, YouTube. We went shopping a while back and she actually introduced me to this. Um, it's the Hourglass Dim Infusion Ambient Lighting Blush. I don't know which part of this is the name. I think it's Dim Infusion, to be honest. It is the perfect blush. It's coral. You guys know I love me a coral blush. It is the perfect blush. It just goes with any eye look. It brings the face back to life. I actually don't remember how much it was because I've had this since 2016. I know it's kind of gross. I might re-up on it. She's subtle. She's pretty. She gets the job done. She's cute. Next product I want to talk about is the Essence Matte Bronzing. I have a lot of bronzers. I'm obsessed with bronzer, by the way. The Essence Matte Bronzing, if you cannot afford any of the other bronzers that I've been talking about, you need to get this Essence Bronzer because she's the shit. It's a subtle, it's a subtle bronzer. You get a lot of product. It's beautiful on the skin. It works amazing. It's just beautiful. Next up, Mel's Highlighter. Morning Star. She's amazing. She gets the job done. She's blinding. If you have pale skin, look at her. Look at her. Look at her, get into her, she's there. I have pale skin, so I like a nice light highlighter, but because I have warm undertones and I notice a lot of pale like highlighters have like this weird blue cast to it. It's really pretty. It had a really pretty imprint to it. Um, Melt has great products. They don't get the shine that they deserve. This is bomb. Brows, Urban Decay, Double Down Brow, Mama, Dark drapes. I don't know why they would call it dark drapes, but Urban Decay is killing it with their brow stuff, like Benefit Who, Anastasia Who, any other brow product who, like Urban Decay is fucking killing it. It's pigmented. Like you can get really pigmented with this. You can get really faint with this. Like you can really play around with this. And that's what I like about it. I love them. It's a good brow product. How long is this video? Are you okay? Are we good? All right, we're gonna keep going, okay? Next up, Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier. Um, a foundation primer, oil-free. I love me some oil-free products. I don't like anything with oil in it. An oil-free primer, yes. I feel like oils can be very comedogenic and very clogging to the pores. And any way that I can keep my skin looking cute and fresh and not clogged and full of blackheads, I'm gonna do it. It's just a good primer. I, I really don't know what to tell you, girl. It's just good. It's just good. Next up, we're gonna talk about a tinted moisturizer from the same brand, Laura Mercier. It's the tinted moisturizer. It's the oil-free one. I love this. When I finally leave the cave in which is my house to see the sun and the people that live on this earth during the day, I'll wear a tinted moisturizer with SPF because there's SPF 20 in it. And this is the one I wear because it's beautiful. It blends amazing. It's lightweight. There's no crazy coverage to this. It's just nice. It's beautiful. It's glowy. It's not sheer coverage. It's more of a light coverage, but it does cover. It does even the skin. It's really pretty. Um, if you guys are looking for a good tinted moisturizer, it might not mix well with a full coverage concealer. So I would stick to like a nice lightweight concealer if you're doing your daytime glam. I'm sure there's more products I, I want to talk about, but we'll save it for the, the year in video, you know? But the last product, lip gloss. Patrick Ta, she's an influencer, and she is. She is an influencer, literally. This is my job. This lip gloss, mama? I've called you guys mama a lot today. She's really good. She's she's amazing. I love Patrick Ta products. He kills it with all of his products. He, it's a new brand. His blushes, magnificent. This is amazing. I'm almost out of it. Like I'm halfway done with it. If you can see, you can see like it's like halfway done a little bit. Like I love this shit. I already ordered another one because I'm ready for a re-up. But that is it on makeup that are, my, that are my faves. I've been talking for, I need a break. 
There's a couple of non-makeup things I want to talk about. First of all, this cup from Starbucks. It's the newer one. Go to your Starbucks. It's there. It's there. It's for the holiday stuff. This is so pretty. It was 20 bucks. It was a little smooth. She's pretty. There's monster energy drink in this right now. Next thing I want to talk about, video games. You guys know I have a Twitch channel. I stream almost every single day. So follow me on Twitch. I'm sometimes doing my makeup on there, sometimes just talking shit on there. It's like a live streaming live platform. Please follow me on Twitch. I also have a Discord server. If you guys are interested in joining my Discord server, go join her. You'll get notified for new YouTube videos on there. You get notified for when I'm live on Twitch. Go follow me on Twitch. I'm serious. If you don't, your mom is ugly. This video game just came out. It's Pokemon Sword, Sword and Shield. Pokemon, oh my god, Pokemon Sword has been so much fun. I already have nine hours on it, and it came out yesterday. I'm addicted. I fucking love this game. It's really fun. If you have a Nintendo Switch, get it. It's so much fun. If you're a Pokemon fan, please get this game. If you were skeptical about it, please get the game. It's so much fun. Please check out my Twitch. Please check out the game. It's so much fun. I've been having so much fun playing it. Um, so that's another favorite of mine. Okay, let's talk about shit I don't like. First up on the list is this Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. This is, I believe, $80, and it's $80 for water. It is the weirdest foundation I've tried. It's like you're putting tinted water on your skin, and then the water is drying out your skin and clinging to all your dry patches. It's just not a good foundation. It's like less than sheer coverage. Like, it's like no coverage. It's like... It's not a good foundation, love. It's just not good. $80 for a foundation that just doesn't really do much to your skin. I don't know about that one. Next up is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Poreless Putty Primer. I don't know why this was sold out for so long. It was so hard to get my hands on this, and when I did, I was so disappointed. I put it on my skin, and it just made everything I put on after it look super dry and cakey. I think this is supposed to be a ripoff of the Tatcha Beauty one, and... The Tatcha one does, doesn't do what this one does. Like this one is like, it even did the same thing to my boyfriend because my boyfriend tried this out too. And he said like, it looked weird on his skin. All of his products that usually look amazing on his skin just looked weird and cakey and bundled up. It made the concealer apply weird. It just doesn't do what it does for other people. And that's, sorry, I get like, this is like a hot seller, um, but I just don't know why. Cause it's really not that great for me at least. Next up, we're going to talk about the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder. This stuff is so drying on the skin. Like this powder, I couldn't believe how drying it made my under eyes look. It just sucked the life out of my under eyes and my face. It makes my skin just look really weird and crepey and gross and not really beautiful at all. So this next part that I want to talk about is something I do not have anymore because I threw it away for contamination purposes and it's the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. Now I did a video on them saying how much I like them and upon further investigation on my lipsticks that I got I never really talked about it because I just didn't want to I felt like I posted a video where I was raving about it and then going back on it made me look like I was following some weird bandwagon shit and I just didn't want to do it but yes my lipsticks were hairy and kind of like one of them had like hair in it and the other one was just like beady and shit. Like it was clumpy. And the night that I filmed that, I was I filmed that video at 4 a.m. in the morning because I wanted to have it up immediately. And I wasn't really paying attention and that's just my fault, like kind of being half assed with the video. So this is also my apology to you guys for even recommending that product because I cannot believe I put that on my face. Like I put that on my face four times or like twice. I cannot believe I even put that on my face. I liked it at first, but we'll see. And then with this new launch, I will maybe do a review for you guys, but I don't know. Okay guys, well that is it for today's video. I wanted to have more hated it, but honestly, when I was going through my collection and just past videos, I don't really have anything to put in this video. I mean, I'm sure there's some things that I'm missing, but they're just not on the top of my head right now. So unfortunately, that's all the hated it's that I have. So we have some more positives in this video. Hopefully you guys weren't like really excited about the negative part and I didn't disappoint you. But if you guys would please subscribe, give this video a like, Comment down below some things that you've been loving, some things you've been hating lately. Um, and go check out my Twitch channel, please. Go give that some love and support. I'm always live. I'm always streaming on there, playing video games, doing my makeup, talking to you guys. I'm just always live over there, so go check that out. Um, 
I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching today's video. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.